Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijayta Vardhanaran and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its land triangular faces. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to VP at 45 degree. So according to the given condition, so go to applications, macros, run macro and click on the inside polygon, open and select the flat length option and then the flat length option is supposed to be taken as 25 millimeter and number of sides is 6 and check the apply relationship and press the left click anywhere on the mouse so that one will get the required uh, hexagon. Now the hexagon is supposed to be positioned properly in the HP wherever it is required and using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter one can construct the diagonal lines as a the dark lines that is going to be the representation of the slant edges then after which make use of a 0.13 mm as a thickness one can project all the respective corners till it touches the xy line to complete the front view now the axis portion is supposed to be taken as 50 millimeter height so it is given in the question as 50 millimeter and then after getting an axis, the front view is completed according to the visibility and then the axis height is going to be represented as 50 mm and the size of the hexagon is going to be represented as 25 mm. Then using the text command one can start naming the corners as A, B, C and this is going to be D, E, F and then O as well as O1. And after which the front view has to be named accordingly as b dash as well as a dash then we have c dash as well as f dash and then we have o1 dash also then we have d dash as well as a dash the apex point is supposed to be named as o dash now one can say that the front view is completed in all aspects in the first stage and also the top view now select the front view and rotate this in such a way that it is resting on ODE because it is resting on one of the slant triangular faces. The slant triangular faces O dash D dash E dash. So now make use of a move command move with respect to D dash and E dash and it has to be repositioned properly on the XY line at keeping convenient distance. Then go for a rotate command and we know that D dash E dash is already on the XY line and O dash is supposed to be shifted to the XY line like this. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 one can start drawing the projectors to complete the respective projectors so that we will get the required things now we are projecting d dash as well as b dash and then e dash and e dash is going to be connected here and this is the another line and the last projector is supposed to be drawn now that is c and along with the C we have F also. So this completes the required projectors. And after which using the text command name the respective projectors whichever we have marked now. So this is going to be marked as A and this is going to be marked as B, C, D, E and this is going to be F and this is going to be O1 and this is going to be O. And after which using a line command with a 0.5 mm thick, one can start drawing the boundary lines. The boundary lines we shall start with D, then it go to C, then O, then it is going to be F, then E, and then getting back to the D is going to be the boundary line. And after marking this boundary line, and after marking this boundary line, one can complete the base is visible or not now the observer is at the top when the observer is looking the solid from the top the base is nearer when compared to the apex hence the base edges must be visible so the base edges f to a and a to b and b to c is going to be the visible edges now such of the slant edges either partially or completely passing inside the visible base are invisible and outside the visible base are visible in such a way that O dash D dash sorry O D as well as O E is going to be the invisible edges. Then in the same fashion O A and O 
B is going to be the visible edges. Then the axis representation O to O1 in the form of a chain line has to be connected here. Now the axis is not seen here so to get the visibility properly one can delete that projector and redraw the line from this point to this point so that one can easily see the axis line. Now axis is already inclined henceforth one can get the apparent length of the axis as 45.88 millimeter and then the given angle is true angle in the front view sorry in the question so one we have to construct the true angle first and after drawing the true angle set that true angle as 45 degree properly and after which locate the point on the 45 degree line that is on the true angle and after locating the point that point will be considered as the O1 and then get the uh, draw the arc of the radius 50 millimeter and then the O point is going to be marked with respect to the point O one has to construct the locus line and after constructing the locus line one has to go to arc by center point command with 0.13 as a thickness now O one is supposed to be taken as the center once again the radius value is supposed to be the apparent angle that is 45.88 or not apparent angle apparent length now that apparent length has to be Position on the axis uh, locus line and then using a line command one can join this apparent line with respect to the given two points and then make use of angle between command and show that the apparent angle is measuring as 50 degree and after which the top view has to be selected and it has to be moved with respect to the O1 and it should be positioned on the O1 and then it should be make it as a rotate command then using a rotate command O as so, supposed to be shifted on the apparent angle 50 degree and after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and start drawing the required necessary projectors to complete the frame view now while drawing these necessary projectors one has to be a little bit cautious because the number of lines are getting more in case of hexagon when compared to the uh, different solids so in that regard so one should be a little bit cautious to complete the view and then we have left out with B and A so we'll connect B and A so now one can say that all the necessary projectors has been completed then make use of a text command naming the corners as A dash B dash C dash and this is going to be D dash E dash and this is going to be F dash as well as O1 dash and this is going to be the O dash and after which according to the rules of visibility one has to complete the boundary lines using 0.5 mm and a continuous line that is A dash to B dash then to O dash then D dash to C dash then F dash A dash is going to be the boundary then when this solid is seen from the front view the observer can able to see the base when compared to the apex hence the base edges must be visible now that is d dash c dash and b dash is going to be the visible now such of the slant edges either partially or completely passing inside the visible base are invisible line that is using a line command with a, a dashed line o dash a dash and o dash f dash is supposed to be the invisible edges now the edges which are passing outside the invisible sorry visible base are visible now o dash c dash is going to be the visible and at last the chain line is supposed to be shown with respect to o dash to o1 dash that is the representation of the axis now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects and if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and once again thanks for watching my video